back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make your own DIY colored lipstick. Liquid lipstick. Um, just as a quick disclaimer, um, I'm very sorry I haven't been posting for the past four days. Um, I'm going to be having a new upload schedule with school. Instead of posting every other day, I'm going to be posting every three days because school is just too much on me right now and I need time to do my homework and I already have an assessment that's due like next week. So if you guys want to learn how to make colored lipstick, keep on watching. So the items you will need is um, a liquid foundation that is um, pale so that it can build up pigment. You're gonna need scissors, cotton swab, plate, and you're gonna need a rainbow eyeshadow palette that you don't care about. Um, I personally don't care about this eyeshadow palette anymore because it is really old. Um, I've had it for two years and it's just really old, so I thought I would um destroy this one. All right, so what you're gonna do is, um, I don't have containers right now. I'm eventually going to get containers, so, um, that's why I don't really have anything. So, depending on how much liquid lipstick you want, if you have this in a container, um, just go right ahead and put it in the container. And um, I just put like a squirt of it. Actually, hold on. Yeah, this is kind of an awkward position, but it works. So, taking my colorful eyeshadow palette, I am going to scrape some of the color down here. So, let's go for this like tealish blue color kind of. So, trying to scrape that over where it is, and then mixing this, try to pick up all this, and this might take a couple of tries to get the desired color, but this is why I said get a really cheap foundation that is extremely light, like their lightest shade. So, this is the shade that I kind of want. This is like a pretty like pale blue but I want a more like vibrant color like I want to get close to this color so I'm just gonna you know just like rub that in and stuff and um I'm gonna put more pigment in this and then I'll be back sorry if this like angle is really weird but I hope you can see it um I did make the color I wanted now it um took a little while for me to get the pigment but I did get the pigment and this is the color that I wanted. I wanted like a light blue color. And I will uh, push the camera up and like swatch it on my face. All right, we good? We good. All right, so I just made it. Um, Very pretty color. Um, I don't know how long this stays on for. Um, I'm sorry, you do not need the scissors. Um, You'll just need like the same applicator. And I'm just dipping into this. Now a plate also could be useful if you're doing this. Because um you're not really wasting like a container, but um more so you can just wash it. Ooh. Ooh. This is really pretty. Now, um this palette was twelve dollars that I bought, but you can go to like the Dollar Tree and get pigments and they'll be like um you won't be wasting as much money. So, you won't be really wasting, like, $12 just for one color or whatever. Okay, sorry. Um, so, this color is really pretty. Um, obviously, I don't, oh, okay, that's, um, okay. Um, I obviously don't have any face makeup on, so, it definitely does look weird, but, um, I want to try this out with like a Dollar Tree palette because um, this color is really pretty and it's beyond that. Like, um, okay, so um, I do have this on my lips, and um, I will say this is very pretty. Um, obviously, if you want it to be glossy, you can, like, add a glossy top coat. <laughs> top coat. No. Inquires or whatever. Um, I really like this color. Um, but I don't know if it will stay on throughout the whole day. Um, I do look very weird because I don't have, like, any eye makeup on or whatever. But, looking at this, it 
it's definitely possible to um make a nice lipstick. So I'm gonna let this dry for like a couple minutes and um see if it transfers like on my skin if that makes any sense. I feel like this is crooked, it's not, but you know, we gotta do what we gotta do. Alright, I'm back and I just swatched it on my wrist. Um this looks really weird because I don't have any face makeup on but um this does seem to not budge like it's not budging like literally not budging okay so i let it dry and um we're gonna see if they transfer so mm. all right there is a bit color on here but there's like not mass color um so i'm gonna go grab some food and see if this um like stays on my lips um but first um this is very ow oops <laughs> this is very matte um like i said if you want to be glossy like add like a glossy taco <laughs> christine the science queen christine the science queen I got straws. <laughs> I got uh, apple straws. Okay, there's a glossy taco on. Um, the butthole lip has not come out yet. So, do I recommend this? Yes, I. I recommend making this. Um. Uh, um. I really like this and it's on my skin and it's not really budging on my skin. So, um, like I am applying the most pressure and it's not coming off. So, your girl got free lipstick. <laughs> um, anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more DIY videos, please subscribe to my channel if you're new and if you like the video hit the like button down below and if you have any questions comments or just ideas in general um you know what to do comment anyway bye anyway guys bye